Hey guys, in this tutorial I wanted to go over a simple sprint feature and how to implement it. Now for this one we are going to be using the character motor that we got from the uh, first person controller. So that's already a pre-made code that Unity has um, added into that. And we can go in and we can actually tweak this code a little bit to uh, customize it. So we are going to be adding a sprint feature so when you hold down the uh, the left shift key you'll be able to sprint, you'll be able to change that to whatever key that you want, but I feel most comfortable setting it as my left shift key. But yeah. Also I wanted to go over in this tutorial a little bit about the the um, crosshair code for the um, for the firing the raycast. Since I wasn't able to fix the actual raycast itself, I ended up just adjusting the uh, crosshair to line up with the position on the screen that the raycast is firing from. That way, when I fire, it's not firing offset from my mouse, it's directly on it. So I'm able to fire with almost pixel perfect collision with this um, with this block instead of having to be far away from it and fire. So pretty much we are going to be going, going over those two things in this tutorial. So. First we're going to go check out the character motor script. Now for the update function, it's below the fixed update, so you'll have to scroll down a little bit until you find it. It's kind of hidden down here. But yeah, the code that's going to be in here will be this code right here, but we are going to be adding in our own code. So we're using if input get key. So if you haven't been watching my other tutorials and you're just watching this one, um, get key is pretty much while the key is being held down. So it'll constantly be calling this code while the key is held down, it, which is what we want. Because when we release the key, we want to stop the movement speed. So I'm using the key for left shift. You can look in the Unity, um, you can look up on Google just Unity documentation for the different controls. And if you wanted just a normal key, you could put like T or Y or you or whatever key you wanted to be your um, your sprint key but left shift is what I'm using for this tutorial because that's how it is for most um, shooters and whatnot and that works best for me so what we're going to be adjusting is movement dot max forward speed now max forward speed is this component right here and so you can also set this for sideways speed if you want to sprint really fast forward and sideways. But for me, I just want it to sprint fast when the character is running forward and holding shift. So I'm leaving mine at just forward speed I'm changing. And I'm changing that to 100 just to show you how fast you can make your player run. For the final game, I'm going to have this set a lot lower than 100 just because it's kind of insane when the player is sprinting. And then when we use, we're also going to be using an else statement. So else pretty much means if this code is not being called, it's going to always call this next code. So since it's running in the update function, it'll keep checking if we have our left shift down. If we don't, it'll keep calling this code right here, which is 10, which I originally had my code set for. And so yeah, that's the basic script that you need for the sprinting. In future tutorials, I want to add on to this feature to include a little stamina bar that will change. So if you're sprinting for five seconds, it'll go on cooldown and it'll increase back to how it was and allow you to use um, your stamina again so players aren't sprinting around the map like crazy, um, abusing the mechanic because it wouldn't be that good of a feature if they could sprint all the time then they would just always hold down the key and sprint away but I want my player to uh, kind of decide when they want to use the sprint maybe they want to save it to get away from another player and or catch up to a different player depending on what's happening maybe a bunch of players are firing at my player so I want to be able to sprint and get away from all those players really fast so I wouldn't use it to get around the map too much depending on what game type it is too, if it's like capture the flag or something. Or maybe I'll have a buff that you can pick up and you can increase your stamina or have like some kind of online upgrade where you can uh, choose different abilities. So maybe you want your sprint to be doubled, you want double health, some, something cool like that. 
So for now, we are just using this um, this sprint code. So we'll run in and go check it out real quick. So now you can see I'm moving really slow, but when I hold down shifts, I just sprint across the map like crazy. So slow. And the cool thing about this is if you sprint and jump and release the shift, you'll still be going at that same speed you were before. So if you sprint, jump, release, you'll slow down when you reach the ground, not when you're in the air. So it's a pretty fun game mechanic. I can sprint all the way across my map. So it's a cool little, also like a hack, kind of. Maybe you want to be the server admin and only you can fly around like this and taunt people <laughs> if you wanted, or do whatever you want with this code. But yeah, simple sprint uh, implementation, and I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.